Hey guys, how's it going? Laura with Garden Answers. So in today's video, I wanted to open up all of these boxes right here. But first I wanted to talk about why we didn't put a garden tour up. So today is September 1st. So tomorrow you'll be seeing this video it's September 2nd. And time last month just simply got away from us. It was such a busy month. Uh, we had a lot of big projects going on, like planting the arborvitas, planting the boxwoods, getting the vegetable garden space ready, and basically just maintaining. So we did a lot of videos just on those things that I just said, like we've showed you the boxwoods in the ground and the arbs planted. We showed you the raised beds being put in. So I feel like there wasn't really a whole lot of change anyway, and it's been so hot. Like I think the whole month of August was pretty much in the hundreds. We may have had a couple of days maybe in the high 90s but really, really hot. And then the last week of August, we were in Michigan at the Grand Garden Show for Proven Winners, and I went to be a presenter, so I spoke at it. So I was stressed like the whole month of August because I wasn't sure what I was gonna speak on, and then I had to get my presentation ready. And speaking in front of people is like one of the most nerve wracking things you'll ever, I'll ever do, <laughs> I think. It's like, that was my Everest. I got through it and it's done now. So that's why there's no August garden tour. So September's uh, should be really awesome because I think we'll have more things to show you. The vegetable garden should be kind of in operation and we'll probably show you other videos up to the, leading up to that point anyway, because I'm gonna be planting some garlic and some uh, fall greens, things like that. And then I'll have lots of fall planters and then just showing you fall colors. So anyway, that's why there's no August garden tour. So really sorry about that. You know, life just happens. So now I'm gonna start on these boxes and I'm just gonna go, I think, smallest to biggest. This one came in like a white envelope. So the name of it is not on this box. Woo, there's stuff coming out. Basil box. So this is what it looks like right there. Oh, and it says on the back, so products in this month's box. Oh, so this must be like a subscription kind of deal. This is what it looks like in there. We've got some MI Gardener seeds. You guys should check out his channel if you want to learn a ton about organic gardening and like pr food production gardening. He's got like so many videos that are really great to learn from. So looks like there's some lettuce, carrots, blue shelling peas, watermelon radish, and oak leaf lettuce. Lots of seeds. Oh, these are organic soil amendments. So this little bag is earthworm castings. And this is earthworm casting tea, really great stuff. And then there's a peat pellet, cocoa peat disc right here. These you add water to and they like really expand. So I'm guessing you add water to this, let it expand and then add your little soil amendments in there. And then there is, this looks like a fabric pot, kind of like the root pouches we planted up. I like this black, it's nice. So check that out. So basically it's like a kit to get your fall crop started. Hi buddy. So I don't know anything about Basil Box except this card that was included. Uh, it was from the owner who's 18 years old and started this as a subscription box business. So everything that was in this today was what you would have got in the August box. So super cool. I'll leave a link down below. Thank you so much Basil Box for sending this over. Oh, sorry Dexter, did I disturb your nap? Oh, this is from Timber Press. It is a package of books. Oh, and the top book is a Winnie the Pooh book. I think this is for baby. The Natural World of Winnie the Pooh. Oh, this is appropriate. Gardening in miniature. Potted, make your own stylish garden containers. Oh, and Deborah Lee Baldwin's book, Designing with Succulents. I know that this is a good book. I've heard lots of good things about it. This is so sweet. This was just a thank you from Timber Press for spreading garden knowledge far and wide. And then they wanted to make sure to include something for baby boy. Very sweet. Thank you so much, Timber Press. And all of you guys, we will put a link down below to these books. So this is kind of an odd shaped box here. This is called a drill till for weeding and tilling. So it's like a hand operated one. No, it's not. It does look like you have to put it on the end of a drill, which is even better. <laughs> Anything to make the job easier. So this is for removing weeds, digging holes, and tilling soil. And you can see right here, let me get rid of the box. You can see that it has like a really long shaft so you can um, do all of these things while you're standing up, which is really nice. And there's different plates you can attach. So it looks like the one that's on it right now is for removing weeds. It's, um, I don't know if you can see with the shiny plastic, but it's just got like two, two blades on the bottom. And then this one right here is for digging holes. So for like bulbs, I think that would work really nicely. 
And then this big one right here, <clears throat> right here, excuse me, is for tilling and aerating the soil. So I've never tried anything like this. If you have, leave me a comment down below and let me know how you like it. I have lots of weeds to take care of right now, so this might come in handy. Thanks so much, Joe Till, for sending this out. Okay, oh, pro plugger. Oh, I freaked Dexter out, sorry, buddy. This is a tool and a half right here. So this is a planting tool, great for uh, bulbs, annuals, vegetables, ground cover, lawn plugs, and weeding. So it says dig planting holes from a comfortable standing position, which would be nice when you're planting tulips especially. Um, there's some picture instructions on the back. So what you do is you put this right where you want to make your hole. You step on these and then till it goes into the ground and then you twist and the soil goes up into the shaft. You get down, put your tulip bulbs in or whatever you're planting. And then when you want to get the soil out, you just tip this upside down. All the soil comes out and you can plant your thing. So I don't know if you guys would be interested in seeing a more in-depth video on this tool. I think we might put one together. Let us know though down in the comment section. Thank you so much Pro Plugger for sending this over to us. So these next three boxes are from MPG Planters, which if you guys remember last year, they sent us over a few things that were awesome. I actually am still using them right now. So the four pots that we have out by our barn, they're square with like a basket weave pattern on each side. I've got right now, um, <clears throat> all my summer plants are still in there. So purple fountain grass and some other things, but they're really great pots. I really liked them. And then the other ones were the four basket like wicker basket look-alike pots that um, we had hydrangeas in last year by our front kind of entrance. They're so pretty. Right now I have spirals in them. So I have no idea what's in these boxes. I'm really excited though. This one's kind of heavy-ish. I need a taller chair. <laughs> oh yes. I told them last year I wish that they had shallow planters and look. Isn't that perfection for succulents? Oh my word. And it's kind of, I don't know exactly what it's made out of. It feels kind of resinish, but it's heavy. Like it's got some heft to it, which is kind of nice. I like that in a container, um, but the color is great. That is so cool. I have a feeling it's a set of three. So we'll take a look. This is like the answer I was looking for. Yep. So here's a small one, like perfect for a smaller area. So there's also a little cork in here. So you can either like protect your surface or I don't know how watertight. I don't know if you could actually make this a watertight container or not, but that's perfect for like, like this table that I'm sitting at, like a little succulent centerpiece. So there they all are. We've got a large, a medium and a small. This excites me big time because I like immediately can picture using these somewhere in my house because the color's perfect and I love the shape. Excited to see what's in the next two. Oh, this one's more rustic. That looks like a piece of wood. Super cool. This would have been great for my camping fairy garden. Where was this pot when I was doing my camping fairy garden? Like a woodland themed camping, something awesome. Also good for succulents. But this one also has the little cork thing in the bottom. I like that. I think that's really cool. So there's the bottom right there. And all the sides just look like wood, which I've seen lots of really cool wedding centerpieces done with wood look like containers or like discs of wood with succulent arrangements on top. Wouldn't this look cool with like, if you retrofitted it into a vase and used succulents and some other filler flowers, I think it'd be really pretty centerpiece. Ah, so fun. Oh my word. This one's in there really, really good. Mercy. Urgh. I can see what it is. You guys are gonna like it. Oh. This is a pot. How cool is that? Although it doesn't have any drainage in it. So here's what you would have to do with this kind of container. You'd either want to drill a couple holes, which is easy peasy. I did it with the other wicker pots they sent over last year. Or you could always just plant your flowers in a couple of round pots that fit down in here and just slide them down in there after you've got them done planting. That way you don't have to put any holes in it, whatever you want to do. That's a really cute look though, don't you think? Did you love those colors? The white and kind of that tealish green. Really cool. Thank you MPG Planters for sending all of these things out. I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of them in videos coming up. All of you guys, I've got some really fun ideas for succulents and some fall containers. So I'm really excited about all of that. So that's pretty much it you guys. Those are the boxes that I had to open today. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything and we will leave links in the comment or description section down below if you wanna check any of them out. And we will see you guys in the next video, bye.